guys, I'm coming to you with another uh, 3x3 card. As you guys know, I'm working on promotional cards, so I came up with this. Um, now, it's a 3x3 promotional card. It can be used as a gift card, a thank you card, anything like that. A gift tag for a wedding gift. Um, and I use the techniques, or I'm sorry, the papers and materials from my other two um, videos to make this card. Um, I really like to stick with one I guess once I open up a pack of paper or start using a sheet of paper, I like to make as many projects as I can with that paper so I don't have a bunch of scraps because when I show you my, my guys my craft room one day, um, I have like four boxes of scraps. So I've kind of turned that around and, and yeah, made it so I don't have as many so I can have a chance to go through the ones I already have. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now this was intended to be a 3x3 three three card, but I totally messed up the measurements. So it ends up being a 2 and 3 quarter by 3 card. Okay, so this is cut at uh, 5 and a half by 3. We're going to fold it in half and crease it. We then have a piece of one inch by two and three quarter paper, which is the uh, pink cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and trim this end off right here. All right, perfect. So we're going to take that piece of cardstock. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. And we're going to put a ribbon around it. I'm sorry. Just need to even that out. Much better. Okay. We're going to put a ribbon around it. And then adhere that to the card. Okay. All right, awesome. So we have our base here. Now, I think you guys have seen me do this before on one of my other videos. Um, I took the two inch uh, gown from the tie the knot uh, Cricut cartridge um, and then put it through the uh, script embossing folder and put it through my texture boutique and then I took uh, some antique linen ink and my uh, what applicator geez I couldn't think of that two videos ago and my applicator and just uh, distressed the wording so as you can see the words pop out so um and i uh, inked the edges as well so i'm going to take another piece of cream ribbon and just tie that around the waist of the dress and we're going to go ahead and adhere that down right at the bottom corner here. Make sure the ribbon is straight. Right there, okay. Then I'm gonna take my small heart stamp from Stampin' Up, and this is the paper uh, from the luxury stack that we were using uh, to make the border and trim of the cards. So I'm gonna take one heart from here And then this is another piece of cardstock for the from the luxury stack, and I like this because it's a little um, it has a little darker pink in it. So I'm going to take one heart with some of the dark pink in it, and then one with the pink and the brown. Okay, so you have your three hearts. I am then going to adhere first the light pink. And my cat is whining about something. We're going to take the uh, medium pink and put that near the top. Going that way. 
And then with the brown, I'm going to take a dimensional and we're going to pop that one up. So then, I'm, okay, let me see what's wrong with my cat. I'll be right back. All right, I'm sorry about that. My cat is senile. And I got up from the table to see what she wanted, and the entire camera knocked over. So, yeah. So we have this. We're going to take our pearls. I'm going to use a medium pearl, medium-sized pearl, to go on the dress. And then I'm going to take the really small pearls and they are going to go on the heart. Oh, darn it. It's always worse when you're recording. You can never get things on quite the way you did before. There we go. All right, so we have our finished card here. Normally I would put a liner inside, but with this one, I don't think you need to. With the linen paper, it looks really pretty. And I think this would be used more as a gift tag or a thank you note anyway, so we're just gonna leave the liner off for these, okay? So I hope you enjoy. Until next time, stay creative.